For a lot of parents, it was hard to send the kids to school this morning, even tougher to talk to kids and know how to talk to them about the Texas school shooting. A whole lot of harder hugs happening last yeah. night and this morning. Bradley Blackburn looks at ways to start a very difficult conversation and to keep those lines of communication open. It's a conversation parents wish they didn't have to have with their children discussing deadly school shootings. It's scary for them to um, know what to do and to be afraid. And so um, I would just talk to them about um, that we just have to, you know, trust the teachers and the, the people at the school to watch over them. Parents are often afraid to bring up these topics because they don't want to worry their kids. But psychologists say avoiding the conversation can make the situation even scarier for children. We want kids to learn about big traumatic things from a trusted adult. If they learn about it from other kids, then they're going to hear potentially more sensational bits. They're not going to have accurate information. Dr. Jamie Howard is a senior clinical psychologist with the Child Mind Institute. She says these conversations can start with children around school age. An opener is, you know, I'm feeling really sad about a news story that I saw and I wonder if you've heard about it. You don't want to jump in with a lengthy, detailed explanation because it might be more than they need and more than they want. Dr. Howard says parents can remind kids that statistically this violence is still very unlikely to happen at their school and they can talk about what safety measures are in place. They practice stay put drills in their school um, where the doors are locked and they stay quiet and I don't think my daughter even knew what they were for, so mm -hmm. they weren't so scary to her. Mm -hmm. Now she has a better understanding that they're to help keep her safe. Dr. Howard says it's okay to look sad or angry, but parents should be mindful of their emotions because big emotions from a parent can also scare children. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. The National Association of School Psychologists says doing things that you enjoy, sticking to your routine and being with friends and family can help make us all feel better and keep from worrying about the tragic event.